Hello, I'm Leela Francis, founder of Vividly Woman. I'm a Vividly Woman mentor and a Vividly Woman facilitator, and I'd love to spend a couple of intimate moments with you. I want to get real. I want to get present. I want to ask you a few questions and for you to ask yourself and go inside and answer those questions to get really in touch with the wisdom that lives inside of you, your sensual wisdom, your emotional wisdom, your intuitive wisdom. So let's get started. Put aside whatever you don't absolutely need to be doing right now. Really, let's be together, just the two of us, okay? So this is the first question I want you to ask yourself. What is my body telling me? What's the message that my body has for me? Something like, I want you to take better care of me. I want you to eat these foods and I don't want you to eat those foods. Every morning I want you to take me out for a walk. I don't know what it is that your body's saying to you, but your body is definitely saying something to you. Our bodies are always speaking to us. So take a moment and ask yourself, ask your beautiful body temple, the abode that your soul and your spirit live in. Ask your body, what is the message, what is the wisdom that you have for me in this moment. So let's take a moment, let's do that. Okay, so when you ask your body what she, what the wisdom is that she has for you, what you're doing is you're resourcing your sensual power and your sensual wisdom. And there's no greater power and there's no greater wisdom anywhere. Not in a book, not in your favorite teacher, anywhere. Your body is your teacher. Your, your body is the most limitless source of wisdom that there is. That's what sensual power is about. We're going to move on to emotional power. So the question for emotional power is this. What feeling or emotion am I not giving myself permission to feel? If I scan all of the emotions, now a really good way to identify an emotion that you're not feeling is to notice an emotion that is not being expressed. Something that you've been suppressing, something that you haven't been saying to somebody in your life. So if you can't easily identify the feeling Bring your awareness to something that you're not saying. And you'll notice that when you bring your awareness to something you're not saying, it's because saying it would cause you to feel a certain way. And you're not saying it because you don't want to feel it. So let's take a moment and identify who are you not expressing your truth to? And what is it that you're not saying. Identify that. Take a moment to identify if you were to say that, how would it make you feel? And when you become aware of how that would make you feel, you'll know that that's a feeling that you're avoiding. And when you avoid your feelings, you limit your emotional power. So that gives you a clue as to an emotion that when you start feeling it is going to give you access to the full realm of emotions, the full realm of your emotional power. Because in Vividly Woman we say that emotional power means freedom to feel the full spectrum of our emotions and the mastery to choose when and how to express them. Okay. Now our third realm of power and wisdom is intuitive power. And the beautiful, juicy question for you to ask yourself for intuitive power is this. How is my current life experience, whatever I'm experiencing, whether it's uh, challenging or juicy, whatever it is, it could be both. How is my current life experience a offering 
of the divine through me. In other words, how am I being used by divine spirit, by source, by God, goddess, um, the creator? However it is you define your connection to the realm of spirit. And when you identify the way that you're being used, when you access the power that comes with the divine source choosing you and your life experience as a path to heal and to support and to awaken others, you step into what we call in Vividly Woman embodied leadership. So let's take a moment and identify whatever it is that's happening in your life. How are you being used by the divine? Let's do that now. Thank you. It's so important for us as women to spend time asking these questions. And especially if you're having any challenges or any roadblocks or any, um, anything that feels like it shouldn't be happening, if you can stop and ask yourself, how is this actually an example of me being used by Divine Spirit? And start to feel that you, the worthiness of you as a woman, and that you are worthy of divine spirit working through you. You completely shift the experience where your circumstances make you less a victim and they make you more of a priestess. And that's really what each of the three power wisdom centers is about is how can you access the power and the wisdom from these three realms of your being, sensual, emotional, and intuitive, and invite in a power, a wisdom, a beauty, and a blessedness. And that is the path of Vividly Woman. I'd love to invite you to explore more about the power centers, the wisdom centers, at a beautiful Vividly Woman full day event that we do called Fire Up Your Feminine Power. And the next time that we'll be holding a Fire Up event is going to be in Denver on May 3rd. We would so love for you to come and be with us and be with your sisters in sacred and safe circle where you'll have an opportunity to really and truly come home to the beauty of your body and remember the blessedness of your being and remember that you are a vividly woman priestess and that you're on this planet to make a huge difference sensually, emotionally, and intuitively. Join us on May 3rd. Use the link below and follow us to find out exact details and how you can get yourself registered. We can't wait to see you then. Take care.